Hello, Deceit 2 has just released its Season 3 update, and I'm here to show everything new that's being brought to you this season. Though for clarity's sake, this footage is from a pre-release build that the developers have let me play on, so some things are likely to change after I put this out, but anyways, let's just get straight into it. The main feature is the new Vampire Terror that is included in the newest DLC. I went into more detail with this terror in another video released today, so you can click the card top right or link in the comments to find that, I'll pin it, but I'm just going to show its basic abilities here. This terror is able to bite humans to drain their sanity like the experiments grab or the werewolf's leap does, and if they hit zero sanity they are taken out of the game. The vampire can also send a bat out to look for any player on the map to drop their sanity and reveal them to the terrors. Lastly, but definitely not least, the vampire also has a teleport. This can go through anything, including solid objects, walls, and floors, so watch out as this terror is very deadly. Along with the vampire terror, in the new DLC you get the soulbound cursed roll to choose from. The Soulbound is quite interesting. You start out solo in a game, but have the option to choose anyone as your partner in the next day. This means your partner can be a human, a human role like Warden or Seer, or even an infected player. In this case, the infected player will lose their ability to talk to the previous partner, as they now belong to the cursed team and can now talk to them with their new cursed voice chat, which is the same as the infected chat. The infected's partner will also be notified that their teammate has changed teams to the soulbound, so they can know that they are now enemies. The soulbounded teammates can also see each other through walls, but the downside to the soulbound is that if either one of them dies, the other one dies shortly after, basically like if a warden marks and kills an innocent. The Soulbound wins by being the last team standing, so you're going to want to live on to the final showdown and take the rest down. The last part of the DLC is the new item, the Earmuffs. These are a pretty simple item and it's just like the handcuffs or ball and chain or muzzle, where it takes away the ability of someone. The Earmuffs just muffles the sounds that a person hears for a certain amount of time before it wears off. So use this on anyone you don't want hearing your conversations. As for the free content, we have the new manor map. I'm just going to show off some footage here of me going through it. This fits very well with the vampire aesthetic. Some interesting features of this map are its secret passages, which are walls that spin that you can activate to potentially hide from someone or get closer to people on the other side. This map will also have a new information area like the scanner on Asylum or the inspection vats on Worgen. This will be the confession booth. I will say though, this will not be going into the live version right now. If you're watching this right after release, it is likely that this is not included with the map currently, as the map is being released in kind of early access. But I will show what it does anyways to give you a good idea on what it may be like. This is the classic split or steal. If both players choose to confess, they will be shown the other player's role. If one confesses and the other condemns, the one that confessed dies. If both condemn, they both die. Again, this has a chance to be changed to a different punishment before it is released in the live version. And moving past that, with a new season comes a new battle pass and tons of new cosmetics. So I'm going to show a live recording I did over all of them. So just real quickly, I'm just going to go over everything in the pass. One thing is that there are now shillings in the pass. All of these add up to the amount that the pass costs. So if you buy it and complete it, you actually won't have to buy another pass in the future, which is really nice. So we of course have things like the loading screens and scrubs. I'm not going to stay much on these. Few cool item skins. Uh, something new they've added is stickers, which is like an emote. We've got this brand new gun. It makes a new sound too when you fire it. More scrubs, a hammer. Kissy mode. Uh, this is a player tracker. I'm not sure if this actually shows up on them, but we'll have to see in game. This is a new earmuffs item. They really did well on these loading screens, I gotta say. 
more normal skins. We got this really nice Alex skin, probably one of my favorites. And as you might see, that may be a little sneak peek to what's at the end. More normal item skins, recolors. This one has a little heart on it, which is cute. And then this emote. <laughs> really nice. We got a new experiment skin. Even though it looks kind of just like one color, we've got like the veins pulsing that you might be able to see. It shows up every once in a while, right there. And of course there's also crypt keys scattered throughout. Very silly. You see a lot of heart themed and love themed stuff this update. Uh, cause of the soulbound rule, which is basically like a lover's rule. I wonder what those numbers mean. I really like this one. You can actually see the implant in Nina's hand here, where it looks like one of the stars. Got a werewolf skin. It's supposed to be looking like the vampire a little bit. It's got the vampire ears and fang and its snout's a little bit weird. The little dance. And we have our first vampire skin. This one kind of makes it like all fleshy, kind of gross. Free Nina skin. Got her in a cheerleading outfit. I'm sure people are going to like that. More traditional skins. Then we've got this uh, heart motion sensor. I have used this in game and it does like make a beating heart sound whenever it's active. Oh, and this is definitely going to be toxic. <laughs> I feel for you, man. New decoy, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure this was actually one of the winners of a competition in the Discord. So it's really cool to see that implemented into the game already. I can see this also getting toxic. Uh, this mask, unfortunately, it's not showing up right now, but as you can see, it's got one of those old, really pale fangs, traditional vampire face. This is actually an adrenaline, so you just stick this into your leg, which is, I don't know how helpful that'd be. And then our quote unquote final skin is the Count, which is just like this, you know, average vampire cloak, but it's not actually over. There are extra bonus exclusive skins this season, which will take the most XP to get to, but they are upgraded variants of other skins. Like this is a golden version of the gun before, and a black and gold version of, of the red rose. As you might have seen earlier, he's got this like golden outline on his outfit now. The cheerleader skin is blue for the bonus exclusive. We got a black heart. Red Voodoo Doll. And then this is that mask from earlier that wasn't showing, but it has blood all over the mouth. And we've got another stake that's made of gold. And then finally, the best one, the golden variant of the traditional vampire cloak. But yeah, that should be it for this season's Battle Pass. And that just about does it for everything that's new in this season. There were a few minor changes that I didn't really go over, like the fact that the final showdown had some tweaks, and it starts at 4 players rather than 3, and that weak points are back to having a short animation where you have to sit there, but I will leave the rest up to y'all to see. I hope this was helpful to y'all to see 2 enjoyers, and I'm excited to play with all of the new content. Anyways, join my discord or type in the comments to give me any suggestions, and thank you all so much for watching. Uh, once held high up in heaven's arms.